to A14. Building a new road can be an immensely expensive undertaking. In the case of the A14, it was decided to incorporate some old sections of single and dual carriageway into the new road. This saved money, and by and large, it was quite successful. But there was one particular stretch of road that didn't upgrade very well at all, and it became absolutely infamous, and that, of course, was the Hawley Bends. In Suffolk, all but a few sections of the upgraded A45, which of course became the A14, was built on a new alignment close to the old road, except where towns were bypassed. The A45 between Hawley New Street and Stowmarket had already been duelled in the early 1970s, because there were several busy junctions close to tight bends, which caused congestion and were dangerous. But, Presumably to save money rather than just straightening and duelling the lot, only a new westbound carriageway was built with gentle curves and long straights. The existing carriageway with tight bends was kept for eastbound traffic. The central reservation was wide for the right turns so that it would provide a refuge for turning traffic. At the time it was probably an improvement, but with the major upgrade of 1976 and 77, it was decided to leave the arrangement rather than upgrade the road to the same standard as the new highway which had motorway type interchanges with wide lanes and gentle curves and gradients. This meant that traffic coming onto the Hawley section from either Bury or Ipswich was coming off a brand new Jill Cageway designed for fast heavy traffic onto a road with right turns in places and all junctions at grade which meant that right turning and crossing traffic had to negotiate lanes of very fast moving vehicles with limited visibility on the eastbound carriageway in particular. The result was inevitable tragedy. The accidents, injuries and deaths mounted as the road started to become busier and busier in subsequent years. How did the road planners not spot the problem in the first place? And worse than that, why was it over 20 years before they actually did something about it? Which initially was to put a 50 mile an hour speed limit around the bends, which people had been campaigning for for some time. The 50 mile an hour speed limit was introduced in 2000, and following that, speed cameras were put on the section that had become now known as the infamous Hawley Bends. I remember the Hawley Bends well. They were a horror to drive on. Even with the 50 mile an hour speed limit, going past HGVs round the tight corners was quite hair raising sometimes. Even with the 50 speed limit, the road still had traffic jams and accidents, even though their numbers fell, including fatalities. People still failed to slow down, particularly as they came from Bury onto the section where right turning traffic was trying to cross the lane diagonally into Hawley New Street. At one point, it was reputed that the speed camera on this junction had the highest value of fines recorded against it in the whole of Britain, over £1 million a year. What was also remarkable was how long it took for the Department of Transport to get something properly done about it, which was to do a full upgrade, which is what it should have done in the first place. Even though the need for an upgrade was desperate, it still took a few years to navigate it through the planning and approval process. The final solution, to be fair, was not the cheapest, but from the traffic point of view, it was by far the best. Construction started in 2007, and the Hawley Bypass opened in 2009 at a cost of £32 million. It's horrifying that a problem that should have been foreseen in the first place continued for so many years and cost many lives before the politicians did the decent thing and built what should have been there from day one of the major A45 upgrade. The new road completely bypasses the old Hawley Bends and all the junctions on the A14 were reduced to one interchange at Tot Hill. The traffic runs so quickly on the new section, it's easy to forget what was here before. So what did happen to all the right turns? Well, the better carriageway of the old road was retained as a local road between Stowmarket and Hawley. It's a quiet road these days with little traffic. To the uninitiated, you'd never know that the abandoned bendy carriageway was ever there. It's a quiet foot and cycle path these days 
and well worth exploring for hints of its previous life. In a few years it really will be consigned to memories. The story of the Holy Benz is a reminder that in life it's sometimes better to do what is the right thing, even though it's going to cost a lot, rather than making compromises that puts ourselves and other people at risk. It applies to almost every area of life, and it's good to remember in a world where at the moment people are trying to make economies. In my profession, I also encourage people to look at what's coming up in life, not just those things that we have aspirations to do, but also the things in life that we know come to us all, but which may be sooner rather than later, because we never know. Things like poor health, unemployment, bereavement, a bad accident, death. Now this isn't an ad for life insurance. I don't sell anything. But what's on offer from God is help in life when the difficult times come and actually help to make the most out of life when things are going well. It's an offer from God to find answers to life, death and eternity. And these are found through following Jesus Christ. Now the means I'm bringing this to you, video, might be the latest thing. But for 2,000 years, people in their millions have found hope, meaning, peace, forgiveness and life in Jesus Christ. And they're still doing that today. Now this has been a video about bends. And what I've said might sound a little bit round the bend to you. But God really does want to take the bends out of our life and straighten us out. Here's a few words from the Bible. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Well, thanks for listening, and may God bless you.